。第十一队表演题目是 It's Tea Time， 计时开始。In the upcoming tea shop, a young enthusiastic shopkeeper is diligently preparing for the opening day of the shop. Finally, I finally succeeded in running my own shop with my wife. And bring the tea grown by my father to Indonesia, my mother's hometown.、Uh, it really took ages for me to open the shop, and I'm so glad to have the chance to spread the best flavor in Taiwan. Good morning, sir. We're Artie and Wally. What's our work today? Well, the work is almost done. But I need you two to sweep and mop the floor. No problem. Just leave it up to us. <sighs> Actually, my family is opposed to my new job here. They don't like me to work for these Chinese because it's too tiring. But I think our new boss is much better than the one we met before. Guess what? My ex-boss even asked me to work overtime. <sighs> The next day, the shopkeeper's wife Tina is telling Artie and Wati about Taiwanese tea. Hey, dear, sorry, Wati. How have you been? You guys adapt yourself here? Sure. Well, let me show you our tea from Taiwan. There are many kinds of tea with different flavors. We have summer like black tea, Ali Shan green tea, Hakka Lei Cha. And Oriental Beauty. Mmm, it has the most pervering taste. I've never tried such a weird tea. Well, just give it a second. Feel the tea taste on your tongue. Mmm, something changed. I feel something sweet, but not sugar kind spreading in my mouth. You may feel a little bitter when first tasting the tea. However, after a while, the taste becomes sweeter. It represents the tea spirit of Taiwan, and that's the thing I want to share with Indonesia. Is that the reason why you opened the shop here? That's right. My mother fell in love with Taiwanese tea since she moved to Taiwan, and she hopes to share a gorgeous taste with everyone in her hometown. We want to fulfill her expectation. So we open the shop here. The things you do are pretty excellent, and we will try our best to help you. Hey, Wally, do you understand the meaning of the tea spirit of Taiwan mentioned by Tina? Hmm. Have you ever heard the, the saying, "After the bitterness comes the sweetness"? I guess that's what Tina means. That's quite similar to some experiences we had before. When facing some difficulty, we always find it hard and want to give it up at first. However, if we hold on for a while, some sweet rewards return to us. At the same time, Tina walks in and takes a typical snack in Taiwan with her. Hey, have you two tried tea eggs before? They're cooked with tea leaves, and it's really a common snack in Taiwan. You won't find it in any other countries. It never occurred to me that tea leaves can make a dish. People here will certainly love it. Hey, why not promote our tea product through the internet? Many of my friends are in favor of searching for unique cuisines with social media apps. Good idea! It's also an efficient way to introduce the tea culture of Taiwan in our shop. Afterwards, the. Afterwards, the shop soon became a hit overnight, making it an attraction to check in on Instagram. Today, here comes an internet celebrity. Hello, it's me. Have you guys heard of tea time? Today, I have the Ali Shan tea, the best selling here. Welcome to tea time. Be our guest at any time. Oh, here are some questions from my fans. Why do you want to open a Taiwanese tea shop here? I hope the tea culture of Taiwan could be tested worldwide, and this is just my first stop. I found that the tea tastes bitter at first, and then it changed later. How did it happen? After the bitterness comes the sweetness. It represents the tea spirit of Taiwan. Well, just 
like us, we now dreaming joy, though it really took hard work for us to run a business. Next, how did you come up with the name Tea Time? Tea Time means it's time for Taiwan to explore South Asia. Say tea. Thank you. The twelfth-performance is a new generation, a new sound-bound vision. Tea School is one of the activity in New Southbound policy. In summer school, we can learn how to speak Chinese, communicate about economic trade, the developing topic of the world, and discuss with other students from Southeast Asia. Now, ABC High School is holding a summer school for two weeks. Let's keep going. Today is our first day in summer school. My name is Bella. I am one of the representatives of Taiwan to welcome a student from Vietnam, India. It's about time. Where are they? Sorry, I'm late. The religious activity on the way caught my eyes when I came here. I stayed there for a while. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Lily. I come from India. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. But what is the religious activity? I don't know how its name is, but there were many people. I was cu curious about it. In the temple square, something looked like dragon and lion dance. The sound of firecracker could be heard even though when you are in a very far place. Oh, that sounds like a Taiwanese pilgrimage. Maybe I can introduce more to you. Dragon and Lion Dance is a traditional performance. It has a long history and always putting on a festival. Mmm, it tastes very good. Hey, are you the member of summer school? Yes, I am. I come from Vietnam. My name is Sadie. Hi, my name is Bella. I am the assistant of the team. Are you eating Chinese so nice and soy milk? Right. Do you want to no, eat? No, thank you. They are my breakfast. Taiwanese breakfast is really different from my hometown. In Taiwan, I can choose Chinese or Western meals. You can enjoy our food in the days you stay in summer school. In the next two weeks, we can experience Taiwanese culture and lifestyle and share our idea about the trend of South Asia in Taiwan. I'm looking forward to experiencing it. with others. Lily, please introduce your culture. In India, the oath is scared uh, sacred uh, because they help us plow the field. Thank you. And introduce their country's industry. Sally, your turn. In Vietnam, our patients work on terrace. Nowadays, they may land trend to tourism industry. Thank you. To say goodbye. Does anyone want to share their impression? Really? It's my first time in Taiwan. Everything is different in my eyes. Me too. I experience the different life lifestyle from Vienna. Maybe we can use the advantage in our country to cooperate with others and create a win-win situation. That's great. I hope everyone can come to Taiwan again and communicate with people from different countries. Bye. Sally, Sally, and Bella come from different countries, but they aren't afraid of talking to others who speak different language. They still cooperate and communicate formally. Because of New South Bond policy, they can, they still, they can cooperate, and cooperate and communicate formally. In, because of New South Bond, they can share their life experience, broaden the horizon, and make new friends. They hope they can come to Taiwan again soon. The 13th performance is 
East Association, a new paradise for youth. 计时开始。Honey, how about this wedding studio? It looks pretty nice. No, I don't like that one. I want to buy one from Taiwanese designer. This month, Mary got married. You should see the photos taken by a Taiwanese designer. The wedding dress looks truly graceful and gorgeous, and the photos turned out really well. All right, all right. We'll do as you say. I see one over there. Let's go and take a look. Welcome. May I help you? Are you here for wedding photos? Okay, let me show you. They are the latest works of our photographers. Are you from Taiwan? Are all your photographers from Taiwan as well? Yes, our whole team is from Taiwan. I myself am also a photographer. May I know when you are planning to take the photos? In September. September. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid we're all booked up for September. I can't even fit you in in October. How about the first week of November? Wow, you are so popular. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that's fine. In Ho Chi Minh City, you are never gonna believe it. But people keep coming to the studio and find we're not available for two months. Before I decided to come here, I only knew that 65 percent of Vietnamese populations was under 30. I knew this market had a lot of potential, but it never occurred to me how big it really was. traditional ones. It's really good value for the money. By the way, why did you choose to run a wedding studio in Vietnam? Our boss used to have a well-known wedding studio in Taiwan, but the rapid economic development and vast market in Vietnam caused his attention. Yes, that's right. We spent a lot of time searching online for a good wedding studio, and we found one from Taiwan one of the best. You can take amazing photos. Giving people unforgettable memories. By the way, these past few years, more and more Taiwanese have been starting their businesses in Vietnam. Why is that? Your country's consumer market is tremendous, as are the employment opportunities. We are from the young generation. We should seize a chance to go abroad and expand our horizons. Yes, that's right. By bringing our skills to other places and blending them with different cultures, we will actually inspire to do more innovative work. Great. Anyway, thanks. So, when can we pick up the photos? How about November 25th? Sounds good. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Businesses are opening in Vietnam. It's not only traditional businesses, but also more and more high-tech and cultural creative industries are coming here. Yes, it seems that more and more young Taiwanese are willing to work overseas. Maybe one day, Vietnam will not be the only stage I have either. We should not limit ourselves. Come join us in the East Association. 
You can see a different world and find working opportunities you have never imagined. Sail to South for a New Future. Hey guys, I'm Daniel. I have been working in Vietnam for one year, and today I'm going back to Taiwan. I miss my family and friends so much. I miss my mom, my dad, and everyone. <laughs> Hey, Jerry and Vivian! Oh, Ariel! Do you guys want to go on a vacation with me during the summer vacation? I plan to go on a tour of America! America? Oh, my God. It's really fancy! Party in the USA! Oh, sorry, Ariel. Both of us already have all the plans this summer vacation. Oh, oh. what are your plans? For me, I have a local internship in Indonesia! And I'll go to Thailand as an international volunteer. Indonesia and Thailand? Yes. Are you sure? You guys want to go to those places. I don't want to join me for my fancy trip. Oh. Don't be so ridiculous. My mom is from Indonesia. Wow. So I can speak some Indonesian. And I'm also acquainted with Indonesian culture. Maybe after I graduate, I can get a great job there. Yeah. A great job? countries? No, 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 no. I don't believe that. And you want to serve as a volunteer in Thailand? Yes, that would be a great experience. I can not only learn their culture, but make lots of foreign friends. No. Ariel, you have too many misunderstandings of yeah. the Southeast Asian country. It seems that you know nothing about them. Nothing. Are you kidding me? I have been to Bali Island, Angkor Wat, and the Taj Mahal. I took many beautiful pictures. I know the places very well. Oh. Check it out. All right, wow. then let me ask you. Do you know why some women in Indonesia, just okay. like me, wear headscarves? Headscarves? Mm, I, I don't know. Maybe they are too shy. No! no. Whatever. It's what? not important. For me, those places are just for traveling. Okay. I never think about working, working? studying, or even being a volunteer. volunteer? I still think Why it's too not? dangerous to live there. Um, maybe I can share my experience in India with you. At first, I was afraid of stepping out of my comfort zone and worry about the cultural differences and the language barrier. Mm. But then I learned their culture and language. I found it's not that hard. How did you make that? Oh, I introduced some of our food and the famous places to them. Besides, I told them some Chinese. They were quite interested. But it's still... Oh. Maybe I can ask my brother Daniel to share his working experience in Vietnam with you. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Jerry. Daniel. Hey, I miss you so much. Yeah. Hey, oh, this is my classmate. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Hey, Daniel. Can you share your working experience in Vietnam? Of course. Oh. I think the most appealing part of working there is that I feel opportunities for growth and development are available to me. Oh, oh. but I don't understand. Aren't there undeveloped countries? No, 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 no. Actually, their economic growth rate has been higher than any other country in the world. Wow. That's why I can have a higher income there. Wow. Moreover, my company provides me with free accommodation. Free? So I can save a lot of money. Wow. Wow. wow! Sounds really great! Maybe I have too many misunderstandings of Southeast Asian countries. That's, That's right. right! I also want to make a fortune left, but I can't speak Vietnamese. Yes, language is a bridge that allows us to understand the people and culture. And it helps me a lot when I'm working there. Ooh. In fact, at first I couldn't speak any Vietnamese. What? But through language training help our company and their interaction to the local people, mm. now I can speak fluent Vietnamese. Ooh. Xin Jiao. Xin Jiao. What should I do? I can't wait to learn the language of Southeast Asian countries. Can I learn them in Taiwan? Oh, oh, as far as I know, you can learn those foreign languages in our school as elective courses. Yes! And you can also learn them in Foreign Language Center at Fernando College. Wow. wow! 
I dreamed to study abroad, and now I want to study in Indonesia. Yeah. But I don't want to be covered with an uncomfortable veil. It will be very hot, and What's... I can't have a fashionable hairstyle. <laughs> Actually, you don't have to wear it if you are not a Muslim. Oh, oh I didn't know that. But your hat style is really pretty. Oh. Can I try it? Oh. Oh. A new sounds about visions of medical. Ji I have been waiting for you for a long time. Nice to meet you. My name is Easy. I'm the intern in Cambodia. Hmm. I was encouraged by our government to see what I can do for you here. To me, I'm not only seeking for more medical knowledge, hmm. but also grateful for the new southbound policy. It gives us many support. I really admire your spirit of learning new things. Thank you. Um, Although I just came here for a few days so far, I think the residents here lack knowledge of general tooth care. That's right. I really want to share my experience with you. We're looking forward to a cooperation, mm. which will offer us opportunity to improve our medical condition. That's great. Let me take you to the lounge. Thank you. Check your sister 
whether she brush her teeth or not, okay? Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Bye. See ya. Bye -bye. Sounds bound policy, keep Taiwan company. Exchange both side ability, raise both side benefits. Help in poverty, responsibility. Country to country, set a good relationship. Friendship to friendship, make the world a epic. Spread our skill, stop people fail. Pull someone falls, save from the hell. By saying this far, I can tell the world. This, this is how Taiwan One, two, three. 第十六对表演题目是 Mutual Respect Through International Etiquette。计时开始。Oh, over here, over here. It's great to see you. The trip to Taiwan sure is long, isn't it? Oh, hi. It's nice to meet you. It took almost nine hours to get here. I'm so tired. Sorry, I'm late. Hi, I'm Yuki from Thailand. It's nice to meet you. I've already called a taxi. We just need to wait for a minute. Okay, sure. I have prepared some presents for you, which I believe best represent my country. Oh, thank you. I have also prepared a gift for you. It's pineapple cake, and it's very famous in Taiwan. And how about you, Nina? I have prepared some food for you. Oh, thank you. But it's coming from Australian culture. I shouldn't accept that. We give food to those who are hospital patients. So, receiving fruit as gift is considered a bad omen. I brought some chocolates for you. It doesn't necessarily represent my culture, but in Australia, the giving of gifts is usually less formal. We decided what gift to give based on what we know or feel the receiver will like. Everybody likes chocolates, right? Right. Okay, let's go. The taxi has arrived. Welcome to my house. Come in. Thank you both for the gift. Yuki, I'm excited to know what gift you brought for us. Oh, no. Sorry, I need to tell you something. In my country, it's usually considered in the last to unwrap a gift in front of the person who gets it. No problem, we understand. Mom, we can put the gift aside and open it later. Sure, I want to do what I can to show respect to you and your culture. Hope you enjoy your meal. Wait, 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 what are you doing? Is something wrong? In Taiwan, sticking one sharp sticks upright in the rice represents or symbolizes incense of sticks burned during the offering of sacrifice to the god or ancestor. I'm thankful to you both for this opportunity to learn more about you and your culture. I think learning and showing respect for other culture and custom is an important part of being a global citizen. Thank you so much for your everything is delicious. And I already feel I learned so much about your family and Taiwanese culture. 
Yes, thank you. This has been a great experience already. After we clean up, let's walk together to the temple. I think that will be an interesting and eye-opening experience for you both. Okay, go. Cool. some cookie or food for the god. After you finish your worship ceremony, you can eat what you have prepared. How about the sequence of the worship ceremony? What should we do first? First, take 10 incense sticks, then use the lighter to light them. Once the lamp begins to burn, wet flame gently to blow out the flames. You just stop on middle. After you finish your worship, you need to use a lamp hand to put the incense stick in the incense burner. Thank you for teaching us and sharing this experience. I'm certainly learning a lot. Yes, this definitely has helped me to learn a lot about Taiwanese culture. You're welcome. I have learned a lot too. Thank you, everyone. The第十七对表演题目是 Make a part of good tea through international cooperation. 计时开始。I believe that all of you have something to say to your classmates before the graduation. So let's welcome Karen Burst to express her feelings before the commencement. I think graduation is a good chance to say thanks to those who have helped you make it through in your school life. And today I want to say that being a friend is the best gift you can give. I once had a hard time because of my family background it was one of my classmates that helped me get through the hard time. Today, I'd like to say thanks to Annie. I feel flattered. It's a pleasure for me too. I really appreciate your timely help with my daughter's problem. I really hope you can come to visit our hometown. This is CNN correspondent. We're now in North Vietnam. Oh my, look at those unhealthy tea trees. These tea trees cannot grow well because of the soil, polluted by the US Army during the 1960s. Let's interview the owner of the tea plantation. Madam, what's the problem growing tea? The residue of the chemical has gradually influenced the quality of the soil. It leads to the decrease of the tea output. Therefore, customers around the world are worried about the quality of our tea so that we have difficulty exporting our product. Oh my, that's Karen, my best friend in senior high school. It seems that like she's in a big trouble. I must give her a hand. Hey, Karen. Are you Annie? Why are you here? Surprise, long time no see. I'm here to help you. I learned about you through a TV news broadcast. It seems like you have a hard time these days. So, I rest to give you a hand, for I have invented a device to check which area is polluted by Agent Orange. It's so kind of you! You may save me again! Let's get started with some work. I got it! I got it! I found the unspread areas. The most suitable one is Ling Tong. The soil there is unpolluted. We can grow our tea there. It's a great idea! Okay, and I can help you. Give it a try. 
Um, but how can we get excellent pineapples? That's not a problem. My brother gives them there. Wonderful! I think we can cooperate with Taiwan well. They go back to Taiwan with their pretty dream. Let me introduce the highest building in Taiwan, the Taipei 101. Oh, awesome! Maybe we can visit it after the competition. Okay, I can take you there after winning the contest. Welcome to the fifth international credit tea competition. There are so many competitors from all around the world. They make great tea by combining fruit with local tea. Are you ready? Let's get started. <laughs> what? Well, this is the last group. Let's see whether they will get a championship today. I feel nervous. Don't be nervous. It'll be fine. Yeah, after so many failures, we finally found the most perfect proportion. I think our golden ace will lead us to success. Amazing! It's a good mixture of pineapples and green tea. Welcome back to the fifth ICTC. It's the time to announce the winner this year. Before that, let's welcome the judge. Well, well, well. All of you have done a great job. The judges are reaching a final conclusion after a heated discussion. And the winner goes to... That's right. Let's see who the winner is this year. The winner goes to... A golden A! Woo! So, Do you have anything to say? Without my Taiwanese friend Annie's help, I can't do it alone. Don't say so. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Meanwhile, we prove that friendship knows no borders. Let's take a photo to keep this precious moment alive. Bye! Thank, Thank you! you. 第十八队表演题目是 Cultural Exchange 计时开始 Saudi Club, welcome to Thailand Today I'm going to show you around the Grand Palace My name is Kitty Chai, which means Famous Victory But it's too hard to say, so you can just call me Kit And um, what are your names? Hi, I'm Indra from KK in Malaysia Hey, what's KK? It's a city called Kota Kinabalu in Sabah, the East Island in Malaysia. Oh, and I'm Zhongquan. I come from the city in southern Taiwan. Oh, and I'm Marco from Cebu. Oh, great. So let's begin our tour. The Grand Palace it is one of the most famous sites in Thailand. Wow, how big is it? Um, it's over 200,000 square meters and it's surrounded by four walls. Yeah, we have similar palaces in Taiwan, but this one is a lot fancier. We haven't had a king since the end of Qing Dynasty, and all the real palaces will be on the mainland. Well, cool. This palace was built 238 years ago and served as a home for a central government and a monarchy for over 200 years. And I wish I could live in there like for some days. And within the temp within the palace. There's a temple of the Emerald Buddha, which is one of the most famous temple in Thailand. And inside the temple, the Buddha was 26 inches tall and carved by a single jade. According to legend, this Buddha was carved by an Indian saint with the help of the Hindu god Vishnu in 46 BC. Wow, that's so amazing! In Malaysia, we also have some very similar temples like Babu Caves. And it is famous as the most, uh, it is famous as the Hindu god Morrigan. And it also has. Uh, yeah, I've never seen such fascinating stuff. Because in the Philippines, uh, we're mostly Catholics, so we have churches instead of temples. So, is there a fixed schedule for you guys to visit temples? Well, there is no fixed schedule. Like devout worshippers, they tend to go to the temples very often, while some people just go to the temples on special days. And recently, there are a lot of people visiting the temple because they are just showing respect to the previous king. 
And when people go to temples, they will just bring food for the monks as an offering. Well, instead of food, um, in Philippines, we usually put money into collections to support our churches. Um, how do you guys become Buddhists? Um, there is no spe special rituals for like converting into a Buddhist. Anyone who follows the teaching of the Buddha can become a Buddhist. The monks are just like your priests. They help people to learn Buddha's idea. Yeah. Sometimes Taiwanese people go to temple to worship uh, for good luck, but it only happens before people go traveling or are doing something special. I can't imagine having to go to the temple that often. Oh, there, people don't often go to the temples on non-special days. The monks will just travel to near villages early in the morning, and people just give them food, which we call giving alms. Almost every family will give alms to the monks, unless the, the monks left early or just the family, they wake up too late and the monks have already left. And uh, in Christianity, we give alms too, but alms that we collect are usually for the poor. Yeah, 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 yeah. so do we. Um, we also collect alms to give to the poor. Oh, and in Malaysia, we also have many different religions, like Muslim, Hindus, Buddhists, and Christians. And if you are a Muslim people, you often visit a mosque. And when you're visiting a mosque, you often have to cover your shoulders and knees. Well, it's similar here, because Thai temples are equally sacred as like Muslim mosques. When we enter a Thai temple, we have to cover our shoulders and knees. Ideally, we have to cover both our ankles. Are you serious, buddy? Yeah. You guys have a dress code for temples? Yes. Oh, no offense, because in the uh, Philippines, we usually wear shorts to t churches because it's hot. Yeah. Um, the only ones with strict dress code are usually the priests and bishops. Um, but my grandmother and her friends still wear fancy dresses because that's what they wear. Yeah. Wow. Cool. yeah. We don't have any code for, uh, for clothing when we visit a temple in, in Taiwan. Yeah, I've never even thought about dressing nice or not to wear shorts to a temple. And even on special day like tomb sweeping day, we just wear regular clothes. Yeah. It's so interesting to learn about different cultures. But do I really have to cover my legs? No man, no man. We are not going to a temple. Oh, and okay. I think so let's just uh, continue our tour. Okay, cool. Thank you. The sixth team is Let Her Learn. We finally get to the earthly paradise, Cambodia. Look at the magnificent building. It's beautiful. Tell me about that. And go up. It's the largest temple in the world. Hey, look over there. The vendors are selling some wonderful table clothes. Table clothes? I love beautiful things. Let's go take a look. <coughs> Hello, madams. Want to buy some tablecloths? Buy one, get one free. Wow! This tablecloth looks ma makes some beautiful. My grandmother, she also makes handbags. Do you <coughs> want to? Oh. Ah! Grandma, grandma, what's wrong? Grandma, grandma! Help, help! Gosh, how could this happen? Should we call 911? Yes, call the police! We can't just wait! Are you okay? I think he's not breathing. Oh, oh, I just saw Jesus dance in front of me. Grandpa, it scared me. Are you okay? Oh, oh. Thank him. Yes. Thank you so much. You must be a doctor. No, I just did hands on CPR, which can help heart to pump by using external force. Yes, every student in Taiwan learns how to perform in that school. <laughs> really? I want to go to school too. <coughs> Poor girl. We can't afford that. Me too. No money for education. I 
Mechanic Mansion Labs. This is a serious problem in some certain areas due to superstition, cultural, pro government policy. Anyway, we must think a way to help them go to school. They need tuition. Raising money is a good idea. But the problem is how to raise the money and where to donate the money to. Do you know the organization called Malala Fund? Malala Fund. What's that? Let me show you. Malala is a world famous Nobel Prize winner. Malala Fund is an organization she founded to help the girls who are out of school. So we donate the money we raised to Malala Fund. Malala will make good use of it. That's right. One of their projects is to help the girls in Cambodia. Fantastic! Wait! Now the problem is how to raise the money. Mm. Ah, you guys are good dancers. Maybe you can dance for Malala. Come, Come on, on, are you serious? Good morning, this is Benson from CNN 10. We're now in Taitung, Taiwan. People here are having an international hot balloon festival. Three adorable teenagers are raising money for Malala Fan. Let's find out how it's going. Abai, abai, traditional Aboriginal snack. Come and try it. Good morning, girls. Is everything going well so far? Yes, everything is great. We are glad most people are willing to help the girls in Cambodia with their right to education. Ooh. What drives you to do this? Why Cambodia? We went to Cambodia and found that the majority of girls do not have access to education. As teenagers, we understand there's little we can do. But I guess doing something is better than doing nothing. Okay. Is this an issue only exists in Cambodia? No, this is an issue in many countries. By doing this, we hope to catch the world's attention and come up with some solutions. Donate today and let her learn! Donate today and let her learn! These girls are amazing! They are, doing some, they are doing something big for the world. This is Benson's report from Taitung, Taiwan. Mm, the abba is so delicious! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you. The 20th表演的題目是 Embrace a Brand New World. 计时开始 
intelligent medical system can work together with the suppliers and create a more prosperous future. That is, Taiwan's business in Southeastern Asia can definitely use local resources so as to save time and money. That's right, thanks Vivian and Joyce. Nowadays, with convenient transportation and advanced technology, the whole world has become a global village, just like a closely knit big family. In fact, New Southbound policy is a win-win policy. Most of all, it offers specialized courses and scholarships to those who come from Southeastern Asia. Hmm, you can say it again. Thanks to this wonderful policy, I can come to Taiwan to experience exotic culture. Better yet, my parents also participate in the technical, vocational, and language training, so they have got a better job in Taiwan. Besides, resource sharing is also including the policy by developing global perspective, the communicative skill, and enhancing international engagement and exchanges with Taiwanese youth can better know the world and do our shares as global citizens. Joyce, can you give me some examples? Okay, as we know, Taiwan's technology and healthcare system has reached the world level, so we can help train their local medical groups. Moreover, we can promote the city exchange program and relaxation of visa. Plus more, we can also provide technology platform for sharing resources. Indeed, it's a good way to expand Taiwan's cooperation with other countries and build our mutual trust and a sense of community. All in all, in addition to economic investment, we can better understand their history, culture, national identity, and political situation. And we can develop friendship with them and make a better future together. Hey, hola! Welcome, Welcome to, to Taiwan! Taiwan. Look across the southern sea. Hey, long time no see. How have you been doing recent years? I have just come back from Vietnam. Vietnam? For for sightseeing? Nope. I joined an exchange programs for internships in corporations and wait. Vietnam? Yeah, why Vietnam? Oh, Raina, put this on. Let me show you. What is this? This is a VR machine. Oh. Look. Wow. This is so cool. Where am I? Welcome to Vietnam. Vietnam? Wait, 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 wait. Who are those people? And then Michelle and Joanna? Hi, Michelle. Hi, Joanna. No, no, no. They're both workers. One works for the high technology industry, and the other one works for the clothing factory. Oh, wow. I thought that Vietnamese are our farmers and construction workers. <sighs> what a huge misunderstanding. Let me introduce myself. I'm an engineer working here in an ASUS office in Hujiming City. ASUS? Like the lot of ASUS? Like the big company ASUS? What's the big deal? In recent years, due to Vietnam's adequate workforce, many high-tech companies have been setting up factories here in Vietnam. And now its electronic manufacturing industry is thriving. Wow. See, I've already told you that Vietnam is totally different from what you think. Hey, don't forget about me. You guys are from Taiwan, right? Yes. yes. Our country being Taiwan's number ninth trading partner, many Taiwanese corporations are also having investments in Vietnam. Wait, so let me guess. Are you working your Taiwanese company? Exactly. You know what? Not only is our clothing industry, but footwear, furniture, and food processing industry are also the major projects that Taiwan is investing in Vietnam. What's more, hey, sorry to interrupt, but it's time to work. Oh, we gotta go. Don't forget to go to the famous Hollow Bay next time you visit. Yes, we will. Come and visit Taiwan someday. Bye. Wow, that was fun. I learned a lot. Why are you guys talking nonsense? And what is this magical stuff? <gasps> it looks like a gaming machine.
machine. Can I try, Jasmine? Sure. No, it's my turn. No, it's, it's my, my turn. turn. It's my turn. I got it. Wait. I don't see anything. Too. Can you tell me more about your program? I'm so 